Okay, so this is the chile verde that I made, okay? And it has, um, it's cooked down, and I, I covered it for a while, and then I uncovered it, and I allowed it to evaporate so that it can thicken. I added a little bit more of the salt, of the sea salt. Now, if you want to add some cum cumino, you can. You can add some cumino if you want to, but I'm not going to this on this one. And if you want to add some cilantro or some oregano, you can as well. I want the pure chile verde. I want the flavor to go pow. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So I thought, okay, and so what I'm going to do is mix it in here, and then I'm going to jar it. And I'm, I'm sterilizing the jars right now, and then I'm going to follow it through with the water bath. I'm going to sterilize these lids and dry them and then put them a quarter inch from the top because that's um, the National Association of Canners um, recommendations and requirements if you're going to resell. So, and then um, and then you label them. And okay, so there you have it, my chile verde. <laughs>